Hello, this is Wagner here. Um, I hope your day is going well. Uh, I just wanted to jump on here and let you know what you're going to be doing for your assignment today. I was hoping that we would get to it yesterday, but we didn't have time. So I'm going to quickly review what the assignment is, and then you will have the hour to work on it. So in Google Classroom, you're going to find it in week five. It will say Thursday and Friday. It is a uh, water cycle web quest. So you're going to open the slide deck, click on the links provided on the slides, and use the information to answer the questions. Complete all of the slides, turn in when completed. So go ahead and open up your own slide deck. You'll see your titled slide there. And then slide two has your very first link. So you'll click on that website and it will open up this page that says, where is Earth's water? So you're gonna answer two questions. Where is water found? Make a list. You'll see it mentioned uh, a lot of places where water is found. So go ahead and make a list. Where is most of Earth's water found? You're gonna to have to read a little bit to find that. Okay, so you've got some paragraphs here. So read that, and then you're gonna scroll down to this uh, diagram of these bar charts. So you're gonna find out what percent of water is found in oceans, what percent of fresh water is groundwater, what percent, oops, sorry. What percent of water is lakes? What percent of water is found in the atmosphere? And so there's your fresh water. This is a bar that explains your total global water, so all the water in the world. This is the fresh water in the world. And this is surface water and other fresh water. Okay, all right. Then when you've answered those questions, just keep moving on, go on to slide three you'll have a different website to go to. This one's gonna take you to all the different states and the percentage area of water cover of all the states. I want you to find Michigan, how much water covers Michigan, and then pick two additional states to compare. So you get to choose which two states you wanna to compare to Michigan. So let's click on it, because I wanna show you where you're gonna find your percentages. Okay, so you have this chart. You're gonna scroll all the way over to the last column. It says percent area water, and then you have the percentages. So you'll have to keep scrolling <laughs> to find your state that you wanna compare, and then scroll over to find its percentage, okay? And then with that website, you do have another slide with about four more uh, questions to answer there. Okay, on this particular slide, you're going to go to this website. You're going to play a uh, little um, video. So this website has a video to play, and it also has information you can read. You're going to drag the gray boxes with the term over to the diagram and pick one of these boxes to place it in. And do that with all four of those until you've completed the water cycle. This one has a website on precipitation, so you're going to just uh, open up that website, answer these five questions, and then you're going to scroll down and look at the map of global precipitation. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the information on precipitation, and then the global map of precipitation is right there. So you're being asked some questions. First of, uh, I think Michigan. So where does Michigan fall? Um, in other words, what color is Michigan? There's Michigan right there. And where are you gonna find it? Down in the key, because you're being asked what is its average annual precipitation in millimeters? And the ones in parentheses, those numbers are in inches. So you want the one without the parentheses for millimeters. Okay, so look at the color of Michigan and then decide what, where it falls in the key. And then which areas would be considered deserts? 
So you want to find the ones that are below 250 millimeters and which area receives 3,000 millimeters of precipitation annually. Okay. So you do have the key here, but you also have some information that might help you with those questions right up here. So you may have to go in and read about it too. Slide seven, you're going to go into the site about the water cycle. This is about condensation. So answer those questions as you read through it. Challenge is to scroll down the page until you find the subtitle labeled, A Cloud Can Weigh As Much As An Airplane. And yes, I do want you to do the challenge. So answer question four. Click on this link and answer the question about evaporation. Whoops, I keep doing that. And then number six, oceans, seas, lakes, rivers. How much do they provide um, for the moisture in the atmosphere through evaporation? So uh, how much do oceans, seas, lakes, and rivers uh, evaporate? How much water do they evaporate? And then the other 10% comes from something else, which is evaporation from plants. So we've been talking about that. So there's that word about plants. And then why is it necessary for evaporation to occur? You'll find that in the website. And then finally, slide eight, you're going to go to this interactive water cycle diagram to answer questions about runoff. So I'll quickly go on to that. You're going to scroll uh, over the words and find runoff. And you'll find some information about all of these terms. There's runoff right there. Okay. And then you're going to go over uh, the word snow melt and find information to help you answer that question. Then seepage and stream flow. And then finally, Click on this link to watch the movie with the Molecule Man, and you have your final question to answer there. All right. Good luck. Let me know uh, by email or private comment if you have any questions.